Hey everyone! So for this week's project, I decided to whip out some of my jewelry making tools and to make this cool drapey chain necklace. And of course, I'm going to show you guys how I did it and how you can make one of your own. This is more of an intermediate level project as you do a little bit of fabrication, but I tried to keep it so that you can make it as long as you have basic tools that everybody should have, hopefully. And if you don't, you should probably get some of these tools just to have around your house for various handiwork or craft things. Alright, so let's get started. You'll need thick wire, needle nose pliers, chain, six matching jump rings and one lobster clasp, a hammer, a bench block, a file, marker, center punch, and a dremel tool. Cut the wire to six inches and shape it into a gentle curve. You don't have to be super precise just yet. Next, you're going to hammer the crap out of this wire. Throw it onto your bench block and hammer away. It was kind of loud, so I moved outside to do this. You just want to hammer it until it's pretty flat, and be sure to mind your fingers. Hammering the wire will misshapen it, so every so often, reshape the wire back into the gentle curve. If you don't have access to a bench block or a fancy jeweler's hammer, then you can totally just use a normal hammer and some concrete. It works just fine in flattening the metal, and you get an added bonus of having a pretty cool looking texture on the wire. Once it's flat, round the edges with a file so it won't poke you. You could totally get away with just using a metal nail file. Mark the spots where you're going to drill the holes. One on each end, one halfway, one a fourth of the way, and another three fourths of the way. So there should be five marks in total, like so. Use a center punch to make dents at each mark. If you don't have one of these things, you could just use a nail and tap it a little bit with a hammer. You probably should use a longer nail than what I'm showing you though. Use your Dremel tool with a teeny tiny drill bit. The one I use is 1 seconds of an inch to drill holes at each mark. I have a flex shaft, but any normal Dremel tool will work. The dents that you created with your center punch, or nail and hammer, help to keep the drill bit from jumping around while you're trying to drill. Take it easy, go slow, let the drill bit do the work. Tiny drill bits are pretty fragile, so don't break the bit and then refuse to throw it away and then still use it because it still works, it's just short. Look how great it's working. Please, don't judge me. Use your file to file down the burrs of metal around each hole. Now it's time to cut all the chain to size. You'll need to cut one 4 inch piece, three 5 inch pieces, one 5 and a half inch piece, one 10 inch piece, and one 24 inch piece. Use a marker to mark the halfway point on this chain. From this point on, I'll refer to each drill hole as hole 1, hole 2, hole 3, hole 4, and hole 5. Take one of the jump rings and attach it to the end of the 5.5 inch piece. Take the lobster clasp and attach it to the 4 inch piece. I just attached it straight onto the chain, using one of the tiny chain lengths, but you can use an extra jump ring here if you like. Thread a jump ring through hole 5. In this order, put the 5 inch length of chain on the jump ring, and then the 24 inch length of chain, and then the 5.5 inch length of chain with the jump ring. Make sure the jump ring on that piece of chain is hanging at the bottom. Close that jump ring, and it's time to move to the next hole. For hole 4, you'll need to attach the 10 inch length of chain, and then the other two 5 inch lengths of chain. Hole 3, skip for now, move straight to hole 2. And here's where it starts to get fun. Onto the jump ring, attach the 10 inch piece of chain from hole four, the five inch piece of chain from hole five, and then one of the five inch lengths of chain from hole four. Close that jump ring and it's on to the first hole. So here in hole one, you'll attach the five inch length of chain from hole four, the 24 inch length of chain from hole 5, 
and then the four inch length of chain that has the lobster clasp attached. Close this jump ring and it's time to go back to hole three. So for this one, all you have to do is attach the 24 inch length of chain at the middle mark onto this jump ring. And then you're all done. Put it on and admire your work. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like. And if you want to see more, then feel free to subscribe. I post DIY videos every Thursday. You can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, or Pinterest, and I'll leave the information of those down below. I try to post little sneak peeks every once in a while, so you'll get a little bit of behind the scenes kind of stuff. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please leave a comment down below, and I'll see you next week.